Hey, what's going on, guys? Dopes930 here, and um, I'm here to sh uh, make a tutorial for you guys, a uh, setup tutorial for the X360 dock. Um, for those of you that are wondering, or those of you that don't understand how to do it. Um, so, for starters, what you're going to want to do, you're going to have to take your Xbox 360 apart. If you're not sure how to do this, um, I made a video on how to do so, and I will also put a link in the description for you guys to find it easier. Okay, so. Where I'm at right now, all I've done is I've taken the outer shell of the Xbox 360 off. And so your Xbox should be looking just like this. And then what you're going to want to do is grab your disk drive and go ahead and unplug both the cables in the back. Go ahead and set the disk drive off to the side. Then what you're going to want to do is grab the SATA cable and pull it out. So this cable right here. And you're going to want to plug it back in backwards. Let me show you guys. So it's actually in there backwards on the very bottom. I don't know how clear of a picture you can see. Alright. Then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to grab your X360 dock. And the cool thing about this is that everything on here is labeled very well. Um, on the top right here, if you see two motherboard, it's going to be these two ports on the bottom side right here. So then what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the back end of these two cables right here to the, to the two ports that say uh, two motherboard. And they should pop in really easy. If uh, for some reason you're having issues with the uh, power cable popping in then you probably have it turned the wrong direction because it only fits in one way so make sure you're not jamming it in there the wrong direction so you don't damage anything okay so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your disk drive and have it facing uh, facing up towards you and go ahead and grab the SATA cable that came with the X360 dock and plug it in like that in that direction facing upward as well as the power cable that came with the X360 dock go ahead and plug that in as well okay so now that you've done that you're gonna go ahead and just like you did on that um, the other uh, SATA cable and power cable you're gonna go ahead and plug these two cables into the X360 dock um, and now there should only be two ports left so you just plug them in the other ports Okay, so now you have all the cables plugged in and you're done messing with the actual um, these ports back here. You can go ahead and set your disk drive back into your Xbox 360. Just be gentle. Go ahead and fit this in. You might have to mess with the cables a little bit just to push them out of the way of the <clears throat> the disk drive's legs. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And then also go ahead and all these extra cables are sticking out. Gently push them and tuck them in this little back corner right here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, pretty much you just want the, the X360 dock to be as flush with the top of the disk drive as you possibly can. All right, <clears throat> so now we've done that, you are going to be attaching the ribbon cable from the X360 dock to the USB dongle, and it's really easy to do so. Um, we'll go ahead and plug it into the X360 dock first uh, for simplicity. Um, on the very tip of the little port, uh, the little plug-in right here, you're going to see a little either black, black or brownish flap, and you're going to want to make sure that it's upward. And then you're going to go ahead and grab the ribbon cable, and with the blue side facing upward towards you, go ahead and slide it into the port. And once it's slid in with, with your right hand, go ahead and use your left hand to push that little black or brown tab down. And you'll know that you have it in right, because when you pull on it, it'll be locked in place. Just don't yank on it too hard, because you don't want to rip it out. Okay, so now that we've done that, you're going to go ahead and take the other end of the ribbon cable, and you're going to slide it down through the um, through the top of the AV port so it'll come out the back of the cage 
So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and so it'll come out right on top like that. Then go ahead and grab the USB dongle. And if you go ahead and look at it, you'll see there is a USB port in the back, another USB plug-in for uh, hooking it up to the uh, computer. And then on this side, there is another port just like the one on top. And you're really going to do the exact same thing. Um, the, the little black or brown tab right here, it should already be upward, but you can go ahead. Uh, if you can't reach your fingers in there, I usually use a little, a little flathead screwdriver and just go ahead and gently press it up. And then go ahead and grab the other end of this and go ahead and do the same thing. So slide it in there. very gently okay and then when you have it in there go ahead and get your flathead or whatever you can use you can, there's, you can use num numerous different things but I like I said prefer the flathead and go ahead and lock it down and then go ahead and just check by a little a little tug on it because it should be pretty snug in place uh, once you've done that all you're gonna do is you're gonna plug the USB into the back of the Xbox 360 where the USB port actually is so go ahead and grab it and plug it in right there and so that's pretty much that's pretty much all you got to do. Um, you can put the Xbox 360 back together at this point, but I usually don't recommend to do so until you've done the next step, which is the whole computer setup, um, just in case there's any issues or anything like that, so you don't have to take everything apart again. So um, all right, I mean, I'm gonna make a part two of the video right now, showing you guys how to set up everything on the software side.